tax cuts or deficit finance, the government spending increases or deficit finance, and they're all over the report. So without the stimulus, growth would, would have been probably closer to three. And of course, it also got, the quarter got juiced by uh, the effect of the tariffs. You had a lot of exporters trying to get out ahead of the tariffs, and that juiced up uh, growth as well. So if you take those two things out, growth is still pretty close to the 2%-ish kind of growth we've been getting since the economic expansion began. So, so this is unsustainably strong. It's, uh, it's, it's juiced by the fiscal stimulus. Unsustainably strong. Just want to get some initial reaction from the president, who's just tweeted 55 seconds ago. Great GDP numbers just released. We'll be having a news conference soon, exclamation point. David, is he right to claim victory here? I, I do think he is. I, I think Mark's right that it is a result of the stimulus, but it, it is definitely sustainable. What it's done is kickstart the economy to the next level, particularly the tax cuts, and that will be sustainable over many more quarters. Uh, the key here will be more good news like the president had with the agreement in principle with Europe that we would reduce tariffs rather than get into a tariff war. I, I think that will then bring yet another wave of growth into the economy. Mark, does this influence how you look at the Fed and the Fed's path for the next year? No, this is a total, totally descript. I mean, when the tax cuts were implemented and the, and the government spending increases passed earlier in the year, and we saw what that would do to budget deficits, uh, it was pretty clear we were going to get this kind of growth uh, through the remainder of this year into the first half of next. And at this rate of growth, uh, unemployment, which is 4%, will continue to decline. It'll go into the low threes by the end of the decade. And you combine that with inflation that's now at the Fed's target will accelerate to over the Fed's target. The Fed will have no choice but to normalize interest rates more aggressively. So that's what the script they've laid out for us, and, and that's the script uh, that we're, you know, this looks like, this report is very consistent with that script. Uh, David, uh, don't hear a lot about deficits. Mark just mentioned it, of course. I think we got a trillion dollar potential deficit on hand this year as a result of the lower revenues coming in, as you might expect, from corporations. The counter argument is, hey, economic growth is going to be higher for quite some time, and that's going to generate additional revenues that will make up for the shortfall. I would assume that's where you fall on this. Is that your expectation? I, I do expect that on the revenue side. The disappointment is actually on the spending side, where the Republican Congress has failed utterly to make any, any real meaning of even holding flat the spending levels. Uh, that's what, how you tackle deficits, is by keeping a break on the spending and they haven't done it. The revenue will make up for itself with the growth in the economy. And frankly, had they even just kept spending flat, I think we'd see us moving towards a balanced budget, actually. Hey, Mark, as it relates to your comment on unsustainability, the, really the two strongest metrics in here are personal consumption expenditures, consumer spending up 4%. And real final right. sales looks like up 5.1 percent. I mean, that's pretty healthy demand. How long will that last? About a year. Uh, that's the that's the length of time where we're going to get the uh, increase, uh, the cuts in taxes flowing through to the consumer, uh, and that that's going to juice up growth. The the other, uh, at least in terms of consumer spending, and then it goes away. So you know, by late 2019, as we make our into 2020, our way into 2020, the tax cuts uh, benefits are over. And that spending will come back down to earth. Uh, the other uh, factor juicing up final uh, final demand, of course, is, are those exports, right? So uh, that's uh, juicing, that's very temporary. That's going to go away, you know, immediately. And so there's going to be a bit of a hole in Q3 because of that.